Hello and welcome back to Viking Tutorials. Um, I decided to build a church this uh, tutorial, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the time lapse and um, I will show you a little round. It's going to be uh, the church in the tutorial is going to be a bit different from the one that I built here, but it's essentially it's a two chunk build. So um, let's have a look. Okay, um, I would just want just wanted to show you around the church here. In uh, the Viking Age, uh, near the end of the Viking Age, most of the Viking countries became Christian and um, converted to Christianity. So um, this is why we have built this little church with a graveyard. One of the most essential things about this was, uh, at least for the countries in Denmark, that is that many of the Vikings will go and be buried instead of get burned, uh, which were customs at some places. We do have, of course, some buried Vikings here and there, but um, we have a great uh, graveyard or funeral place at. Um, at something called Lindholm Hoye in the northern part of um, uh, the Jutland Peninsula um, and it was usually used to burn uh, your the dead so um, this little one is how some people will think they their church could have looked in um, <coughs> in the uh, early days. It was just a wooden structure and it's not that fancy. It has pretty much what you would expect from a church, some seating places, although they probably won't there, wouldn't be there because in the er early days of the Catholic, uh, Catholic uh, Church, <laughs> sorry about that, um, you stand up in the church you do not sit down so um, yeah this is um, so simple a, a design but it's quite necessary for some um, for this kind of these kind of villages because they they add a lot um, I could have added some something to light up this place chandelier or something but um, uh, I didn't do that to this one but I actually think I did it with the other one so I'll show you a bit of the differences okay here you can see I have uh, designed the church and its graveyard to be a sort of corner plot building so it fit in a fit in within a corner of a, a road system um, you can also see I have a did. It's a still two plot uh, large build, and uh, I have um, put this uh, tiny wall around it. Um, and I even think it's I have a bit more graveyards here than the other one I showed you. Um, a clock which were outside the church at the time and uh, here you can see I have um, changed a bit of the design um, here it's it's working a bit different but essentially it's still the same um, it just tends to show you that you can variate so um, yeah, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, uh, this tutorial um, I have tried to make a sort of an overlay or over where I'm going to place the different things. So uh, what I actually want you to do is just copy it. The wall segment uh, you don't actually have to copy if you don't want to because it can be a bit randomized. I've tried to randomize it around here. So um, yeah, 
uh, and if you don't want the bell tower, uh, you can put in some more graveyards. Of course, not not all churches is uh, had a, a bell to to start with. They were usually donated, um, but sooner or later they all uh, all gained them. So uh, the build is consists primarily of two things. The church itself and uh, of course uh, the graveyard and the surrounding wall. The first thing you need to do is surround um, your cemetery and church with a um, with a copper stone wall, wall with some half slabs uh, on. It's because normally these churches would have some sort of dirt wall going over, but I don't think it looked nearly as good because it tends to get too wide. And <laughs> when you're building with with this uh, restrictions of chunks, you don't has have uh, as much space as you normally would like. I also tried another build where I, where I tried to raise a sort of a little hill to put the the church on, so you can do that. But the graves I used um, what's it called gravel, and um, uh, as the, the grave themselves, and uh, then I used um, the new stone fences as uh, the gravestones. Because uh, I think they look much better than a stair, but you could put that in. And uh, thanks to the connected textures, uh, the top of mossy cobblestone looks like this uh, little path thingy. I also randomized with some some mossy cobblestone inside uh, the the wall pieces, so trying to make this look as random as possible. I also added a sort of a another entrance here, but I think I would probably instead put it here so it goes out the road. It's a way for the monks or the other priests to go in here. So yeah. On to the next bit. You need to take some oak wood um, and raise it up uh, in the front. You raise it up by three, and in the back, uh, the the main room of the, the church, you raise it up by four, and then you connect them with these beams. After that, we put up some blocks to make. Uh, ready for the roof and we fill in almost every gap with the uh, jungle wood I used here because of the texture pack but you can pretty much use whatever wood you want and um, I used some fences as a sort of a willowed window uh, at the gables of the church at the inside uh, I made sure that the roofs have, have these cro ha sorry has these crossover beams, and then I um, added upside down stairs to them, like this. Um, also, I made these windows um, and quite easy actually, with an upside down stair and a normal place stair. And you have these small windows, which look pretty close to what uh, some of the reconstructions have. So, um, yeah, I also at this entrance made this look like a little. Uh, put some upside stairs here, so to make a wider door piece and a little more churchy or. After that, after that, the most simple thing to do is uh, put on the roof, and then we will make this uh, sort of head arrangement at the end, just by um, 
play some two stairs back to back and one upside down to have this sort of dragon head shape. So two stairs back to back and one upside down. And remember to um, play some upstairs uh, side down stairs at the edge of uh, the roof to make it look a bit more thicker and like it's um, dragged down onto the structure instead of a bit a top of it. I think it looks nicer. As you can see here, the church is still empty. Put in a door. That was uh, the church. Now for the bell tower. Um, I just you can pretty much build it like you want. I just built this little three by three structure here and put on some wooden stairs on top of them in this shape. Then I uh, added a wooden roof. Um, I think maybe I do this to make it a little more fancy. Just a little wood move, nothing too fancy. And uh, a golden block to serve as the bell and some fences in the middle to serve as a sort of rope. And uh, that's it for the, the church. Um, I will probably uh, next time do the, the longer longhouse. Um, or maybe I will do a another uh, city building. It's I'm going to show you now. Um, it's called a um, on Danish. It's called a Hedebyhus or Heidebau house. Um, it's from a Grand Viking settlement uh, in the northern part of Germany where they built the, these houses and as you can see they look quite awesome and a bit different so uh, maybe it would be that house or maybe it would be a long house um, I don't know when the next upload will uh, be uh, it may be be first uh, in August uh, before I get the time to record anything else because I'm going away for the most of July so I'm going to <laughs> do my hobby uh, when I'm not playing Minecraft and everything else I'm going to be a Viking so um, the next episode will be in in August I think Maybe if I have time for it, I will upload uh, a video in in the mid of uh, July, but I won't promise anything. So, um, and hopefully I will have a lot more inspiration and have seen a lot of cool things to, to build. So, um, thanks uh, for this time, and uh, please, if you haven't already, Check out my new series, uh, it's a western modular, modular design series with the western towns and um, yeah, until next time please write, comment and subscribe and uh, bye.